Vex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how's it going, guys? Chris here with the Supercar Suspects. Hope you guys are having a great day. As I promised, the last few days, we are having a full, in-depth walkthrough of the S2000. Not really a review. I'm just going to be walking around showing you every single detail about the car. And, of course, we need another S2000 here. We got the mob going down today. We got Andre, Dre Day Designs behind the uh -huh. camera. So without further ado, let's get started before it gets dark. All right, since I'm already inside the car, I might as well start off on an interior, huh, Andre? Yes, sir. Full tour of my crib inside, MTV Cribs. The cribs. Here. We got my uh, refrigerator down here. We got the closet bathroom. What's okay. that red button, bro? This, never press the red button, guys. Do not touch the red button. Oh, there's one more red button, bro. Hey! <laughs> I'm trying to give a little MTV Cribs here, but it's not closing. Okay, forget it. We got some Pioneer speakers here. The most, obviously, the most important part of the car, the audio system. Amazing compared to the Evo. So the interior of this S2000 is one of the best I've ever seen, honestly. I looked at a few throughout the week. That's why it took so long to get it. I found the perfect one, honestly, for me. Look how clean the dash is from maybe like a what, like 16-year-old car. Yeah. It is a 2002 AP1, 120,000 miles on it. Very, very clean. Even check out the seats. We got minor like little creases and like there's no rips in it at all. Super, super clean, you know, compared to this guy's over here. So the door panel is extremely clean condition. Obviously, everything still works. You know, the windows work, locks work, whatever. The weirdest thing about this car, come on, come on over here. I couldn't figure it out. He had to tell me this guy right here opens the gas tank. There's no punch for it. There's no like switch for it. I just found out about this. You can actually open this top part. How do you open it? Oh, oh, I'm holding the car for two days. Okay, it's only been two days, so I don't blame myself. Expert, but yeah, there's expert. A little, there's a little compartment in here. We're gonna have a nice save the hair decal coming here. Speaking of uh, decals, uh, they're coming very soon alongside with this brand new merch never before seen. A few more weeks, guys. Trust me on it. Let me just grab one thing from the glove box rope. Oh, wait. Ooh, there is no glove box on this car. All your storage is inside this little tiny thing in the middle. I'm not complaining about it. All I really need is, you know, my phone and that's about it. Now that is pretty much all of the inside. You guys have already seen it. It's, you know, just seats. Sounds like a freaking Formula One car. I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm gonna keep the cats on as of right now. It just has a cat bag. It's not gonna get any louder than this. What does the horn work? Look how long this engine bay is. I think I think a 2JZ might be needed for this guy right here. So I bought the car as is. Doesn't really have the top part of the intake airbox cover thingy, but uh, I'm not complaining. The only one problem with this car is missing a few bolts here and you guys will hear it in a minute not really a big problem you guys are no Todd it works at Home Depot you got the hookups for some nuts and bolts I'll fix it in a minute you guys can already tell the previous owner has definitely touched this engine a ton of time just by the scratches everywhere the stripped bolts the aftermarket titanium little nut stuff and that is enough for right now we are done with the engine bay completely stock as you guys can tell I'm not to show you guys the paint condition because it looks very good except except for the front bumper we got a few minor little dents and scratches here. I don't know what the previous owner did. He doesn't know how to angle into driveways like your boy does. Now, as you guys can tell, the rest of the car is in mint, mint condition for a 16-year-old car. No scratches, no dents, perfect condition. Looks absolutely beautiful. I'm not too worried about this. It's gonna be all aftermarket parts on the car, obviously. And it's gonna be a change of color coming soon. Moving on to the rims. We got stock rims, obviously, all the way around. Some random aftermarket tire on it. They were brand new until, you know, uh, last night where we had some fun with it. <laughs> supercar suspects video unless we had some fun right now so we're about to hit the canyon on the way home we got a 20 minute canyon ride no cars in front of us should be a great time we got the s2k behind us i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video let's go guys
Sick to Todd, what's up? Welcome to the trap cabin. What's up? Let's get this Ooh. exhaust on. Oh, we're, we're doing an inst we're doing an install right install now. Video. Oh, okay. Changing things up. We have yeah. finished with the S2000 walkthrough. We're here at the trap cabin. Andre, yes, sir. finally, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Pull that door open. Just do it to them. Do it to them. We are installing the brand new exhaust on the IS300. I was kind of hoping to do like an epic unboxing, but it's, it's just it's right, right here. here. And you already got fingerprints all over it. Here, let me put more on <laughs> So we finished up with the walkthrough of the S2000. I showed you guys every single little detail of it, but we are here at the trap cabin now. Todd has finally received his new exhaust. Hey, Todd, what kind of exhaust is it? HKS. HK oh, he's the HKS high power gang. We're both repping the same exhaust. Shout out to HKS. We're about to get this guy sounding. Pretty decent. Check out this little stock garbage right here. It's so small you can't even see it. Check that out. Probably very heavy. We're gonna get some nice shiny titanium mufflers down there. Faster, Derek. Twisting as hard as I can. Hey, we're running out of time here. Hashtag hair reveal, Andre. Coming soon. Hey, it's not looking too bad right now. It looks pretty good. Not bad, not bad. But WD-40 because you know the bolt is stuck down there because it hasn't been opened in what like 20 years probably. Yeah. yeah, at least. And then the plastic dip is also peeling off. You know. Peeling off. Put some WD-40 on your hair. <laughs> 35 minutes later, we have gone the exhaust out. These are the main problem right here. These refuse to come off from underneath the car. But we gotta, you know, like mount them back on the new exhaust and then throw it back on and hear how it sounds, my dude. Let's see what it sounds like without a cap back. I think it's mandatory. We hear it. Do it, Todd. It. Oh, we're having a little okay. fitment issue right here. So we're trying to, I guess, sand it down. <laughs> so who has a new cap back? This guy. That guy has a new cat back. It still has cats on, so it's not going to be crazy loud, obviously. But it's a 2J, and if you rev it up, it's going to sound pretty good. But it is now 1 a.m., so there's no revving today. Yeah, Maybe no in tomorrow's video. But let's hear this thing idle. Hit it in stock. Oh, you, you boosted your car? Yeah, that's the Oh, co coming in tomorrow's video, guys. Okay, better than stock. Let's hear a little, like, 2,000 rpm -er. Oh, the carbon monoxide. <laughs> Tata, stop flexing with your uh, coilover setup. Let's go. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Okay, sounds a little better. 